This next challenge in Ryan Nicholson CTF is called find the flag dot text capital F in this flag file. So keep that in mind. That is important when we're trying to track this thing down because all we have to do is find this file and actually view the contents, cut it out, and that's what we submit as our as our as our flag. So it gives us a shell we can connect to, gives us some commands and like at least credentials to log in with. So once we try and get in, we can run things, except it doesn't look like we actually have any tools to work with. LS and all those things that we might want are straight up gone. So I was wondering like, well, okay, what is this? Do we still have the files? And I tried them in their absolute directory and that seemed absolute path. And that seemed to work okay. So I was curious what was really wrong here. There's nothing in this directory. That's the only reason why um, LS didn't work. If we wanted to attack L, we could see it or attack A, whatever. But so we know that that command is there, but for some reason we couldn't actually execute it. So I want to check out what is the path environment variable set to, and I notice that it doesn't have forward slash bin or any of the other paths that we're used to particularly in there. So if we wanted to like find where the find command is, what we wanted to use, we wouldn't be able to. Where is which? Is that in bin? Yeah, so we could check out find, which it apparently doesn't have, whatever. Um, but I, so, so I know that's in user bin find, and it and that's how we can set that. If we wanted to check out the variable, we can actually set the variable to what we want here with user bin uh, included. And then we can actually end out the path just like that. So now we can run find and ls and cat and everything just fine because we've reset the path to what it should be. So let's go ahead and actually run that find command. Start at the root directory and set the name that we're trying to look for for that capital F flag.txt. And there are some folders that we can't check out because we don't have the permission, but we do see it in this directory. So let's cat out that lib x86, x64, Linux, GNU, security, flag.txt. And did I spell something wrong? Uh, I needed to have an underscore there, my bad. Okay, cool. There is the flag that we can submit and spit out or use or whatever we need to, but let's take note of it in our own so we can mark that challenge as complete. So that was an interesting thing, just keeping in mind that your uh, path um, environment variable does actually matter when you're trying to track down your commands. Keep that in mind. Or just be sure to like check out what is the absolute path going to work. Will it actually retrieve a command output for me? So good things to test around. Hey, I want to give a special shout out and some love to my Patreon supporters. You guys are fantastic. I'm so happy that this list keeps growing. Um, One dollar or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out at the end of every video just like this. Five dollars a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything uh, that I release on YouTube. Hey, if you did like this video, please do press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment if you're willing to subscribe. Uh, And check us out on Discord. Link in the description to join the server. And uh, I'll hopefully see you on Patreon. That'd be awesome. Thanks.